everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And this morning I woke up and I'm recording this on August 8th, 2020. And I immediately felt the need to open my journal and I was getting a message through to pass along what we have learned in 2020. Now, this approach is from a spirituality standpoint. If you are somebody who is deep in your third dimensional ego consciousness, you're deep in the surface level human story. And so everything spiritual, you try to make it logistical. You try to make it fit into that very narrow human story. This is not the video for you. All right. Maybe check out some of my other content. So I'm going to go through here and just anything that was coming up, I'm going to pass along to you. Okay. So here we go. Um, the first thing that they say is not on an ego level. <laughs> right? So everything we're talking about here, it's not like, oh, I learned blah, 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 you know, whatever in your own personal human story. That's not what we're talking about here. What have we learned on an energetic level collectively? Okay. So first of all, we have learned how changeable energy is. Now, we've always kind of known that as our human makeup, right? Um, being these spiritual beings in human form. But now we're awakening to it. We are remembering this. We have on a small level try to tap into that changeable energy through learning about manifestation. People have tried to take manifestation and squeeze it into the third dimensional ego consciousness reality. Okay. And we're starting to discover that that was nice that we were trying to tap into that energy, but it was so much more expansive than we ever realized. Okay. And so that means anything could change at any moment. There could be things that come out of nowhere that we've never seen before. Okay. All right. So it says learning weight of ego and anger. We're seeing the detrimental effects that again, it goes back to the power of energy. If we put our energy behind anger and fear and the ego pursuits, we see how explosive that becomes and we see how it holds us up and keeps us back right? We have learned the importance of embracing light. Here are all the soul level lessons that we're supposed to be getting right now. The importance of bringing light. Right now we get, we're all electrical beings, if you want to see it that way. And we get quite a charge out of fear. We, that's why people like horror movies. I don't personally understand that. I don't think that's how I want to be charged up, right? Or people love to debate. See it all the time. If you're on social media, you see people constantly trying to charge themselves up by fighting with you. We have for many, 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 many years found our source of energy from a dark, low hum because we forgot the light. We forgot what kind of beings we are. Now, there are lots of different kinds of beings around. But most of us are of the light or want to be in the light. We always are seeking balance, right? So remember that we can be okay to nourish ourselves with light and not from a quick thrill of buying something or a quick connection with somebody or what have you, right? Getting a lot of money, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right. So the other thing that we have learned is self-revelation. How many of us have realized what our triggers are? Okay. Uh, and then having, I bet a lot of us have been starting to um, see what our triggers are. And then something's kind of like tapping us on the shoulder. Well, that something is about to expand and that's your authentic self. That's your soul self. And it's about to become even more well-known. So that's part of that self-revelation. All right. We have also had self-creation, learning what we want to create in this world. What can we create from light as opposed to creating from fear of not being worthy, a fear of not fitting in, a fear of not being approved of, you know, all this stuff, a fear of not having validation. How many times have you heard something so shallow 
And someone's like, well, ha ha ha, you don't live like this, therefore you're not worthy. What's really lovely about this is that the more and more we go forward and the more we kind of open up to this and keep letting these revelations happen, it's going to be <laughs> cringy, I don't know, but we are going to really realize how ridiculous that is. We're not going to buy into it anymore. We're going to start standing back and, and maybe even seeing those people as functioning from darkness and you can see it. Darkness will change a face. Darkness will change a smile. Light is pretty effective too. So if somebody has darkness going through them, they're, <laughs> I, I, it's almost like a wretched smile, like, you know, a maniacal smile, or um, there's just, there's no light behind their eyes. Okay. So we're, we're learning, do I want to keep giving into darkness, the darkness story? Or do I want to realize my true authentic nature and allow more of that to come forward unapologetically. Okay. The other thing we have learned is where does the ego need to let go? Going along those lines of what we were just saying. Can we let go of those things that we think are such lofty goals? That's going to make us happy. How many times have you heard people, they work their entire lives to create something and they're still not happy? Why not? no light or creating because I remember when I was trying to write books and you know get you know I was trying to get them published and everything I actually had my literary agent come to me and say mm, we're gonna have to change this this just isn't the market for this right now and wanted me to completely change the genre of my book so that it would make more money and I walked away from that agent. I'm still an unpublished author, but I can't do it. I can't just play into that. It didn't feel right. Nor could I, you know, play into the whole corporate idea behind all of it too. Again, I'm not trying to sound self-righteous. If that's where you are, okay. If that's what you want to do, fine. Or maybe you got lucky and you're just going with like really good people. I mean, that's possible too. But I was coming across some people that were just very ego oriented. So we're learning to let go of that okay letting go of those pressure goals and and all of that and living from a heart centered place okay not an ego center but a heart center all right the power of change more to come on that one all right right now we're in the process of the turnover okay the changing is still happening so a lot of us feel uneasy not sure, you know, uncertain, unstable and all of that. But eventually we'll see that everything came about, came about for good reason. And we'll be better for it. It's going to take some time, but we will be better for it. Okay. Then we have not always having what you want. <laughs> right? And I feel like that goes along the lines of where does the ego need to let go? We have had to make do when the store says, oh, sorry. We didn't get that in. I remember at the beginning of all of this, I went to a grocery store, a small grocery store here. And there was somebody stocking the shelves. And he just looked at me and he goes, is there anything I can attempt to help you find? And I was like, eh, I'm figuring out substitutes. It's all good. And I just looked at him and I was like, everything okay? He goes, I was kind of expecting you to yell at me. I was like, are you serious? Like people, that is a, such an ego thing. People want what they want when they want it. And I'm going to throw a tantrum if I don't get it. And I'm going to take it out on somebody who's just doing their job. We ended up having a lovely conversation. You know, hopefully he felt a little better. I don't know. But, um, you know, that, that was just one example of how selfish people became. How people started to rebel. I want to party. And I'm going to party. And that's all there is to it. All right, well, uh, so we're realizing that we can't always have what we want when we want it. And that sometimes there is a deeper purpose and a deeper need. Okay, maybe, maybe need, needs a human way of putting it, but you know what I'm saying. Um, challenging expectations. And that's the last one that I actually ended up writing down. So we'll see if any more come up here. But um, constantly having our expectations of what things should be. This would be over planning the future and then being devastated when we can't do what we want. 
right? Or over scheduling a day and then being really down on ourselves because we didn't get everything accomplished. We're learning, this is just now coming through. We're learning to open and clean out the house, <laughs> right? We need to clean out the house. We need to clean out the darkness. This also goes into fake personas. So if you are somebody who is an abuse survivor, for example, and you've had your persona on so that nobody ever harms you or hurts you or whatever, you want everyone to believe that you are this one person when really you're something else. You know, we're learning to let go of that and to tune into our souls and let the soul have a voice. Now, people who are still in darkness, they're going to find this very funny. But it's a nervous laughter. I assure you. Their day is done. Their day is done. Get ready. So, we'll leave it there. I'm sending you my love. Leave your questions down below. And take care.